For today's math lesson, we will be reviewing adding within 100. Today's lesson is not learning a new strategy, but simply just to practice the strategies that we are most comfortable with. For most of us, that strategy will be the new groups above strategy. Let's start with our first practice problem. The first problem is 26 plus 42. As always, when I add with my two digits, I start in the ones place. That way, if I make a new 10, I don't have to go back and erase. First, I have six plus two more. So I have six, seven, eight. Now eight does not have a 10 in it. So I can simply drag it down to the bottom. There's no new 10 in my number. Next, I go to the tens place, two plus four, or four plus two, four, five, six. So I had eight ones and six tens, which means that 26 plus 42 is equal to 68. I had no new groups at the top, so I did not have to put anything up there. Let's try the next problem. 56 plus 18. I always start with the ones. 6 plus 8 or 8 plus 6. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, when I look at 14, do I have a new group of 10? Yes, I do. Now, that new group of 10 needs to go over in my tens column. Then I can pull my four ones down to the bottom. Now I add up my tens. I have five plus one is six plus one more is seven. So in this problem, I did make a new group. I made a new group of 10. I must put it over in the tens column with the other tens. 35 plus 45. First, in the ones place, I have 5 plus 5. That's a double, isn't it, second grade? 5 plus 5 gives me 10. Did I make a new group of 10? Yes, I did. So I take my new group of 10 and I put it up at the top in my tens column. Then I pull my zero down to the bottom. Now I have four plus three plus one. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't forget to add that new 10. 35 plus 45 is equal to 80. Let's try two more problems together, second grade. Here we have 63 plus 36. Oh, that's a flip-flop, isn't it? I just switched the two numbers around. Let's start with our ones. Three plus six or six plus three. Six, seven, eight, nine. Does nine have a new 10 in it? No, it doesn't. So I can just pull that nine down to the bottom. Now I go to the tens column. Six, seven, eight, nine again. So 63 plus 36 is equal to 99. Let's try one more problem together just to review quickly. 71 plus 29. Let's start with the ones. One plus nine or nine plus one more. What's nine plus one more second grade? That gives me 10. <gasps> Look, I made a new 10. So he's going to go over here in the tens column. And my zero is going to come down to the bottom. 7, 8, 9, 10. <gasps> 10 tens. What does that give me, second grade? A new 100. Awesome job. So our goal today is to practice are adding with two digits 
plus two digits just to get more practice and to get more fluent or to get a little bit faster at solving the problems.